vision. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead. Before we get started in today's video guys, I got a cool surprise. You guys are going to get to see it in just a second. Don't look behind me. Uh, basically, I want to say thank you guys so much for all your support in the past videos guys. We actually made 100 likes on our recent Walking Dead video guys and that really did shock me guys. If we can reach at least 50 likes or if you guys can shock me again and reach 100 likes, uh, that would actually blow my mind away. Uh, that's the first time we actually reached 100 likes in a long time, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, so if we could do that, that would be amazing. Make sure you guys hit that like button about now so you don't forget during the video. But here's the good news, guys. As you guys can see right in front of me, we are on the Seaport map, guys. It's just been released as I got home. So uh, we're actually going to be recording it. I'm doing it right now. And we're going to go check up the map. We're going to go see what's going on because I'm really excited to actually record on here. Uh, it's really awesome. Now, I do not have my veteran kit. I'm going to talk to uh, the owner, Andrew, and see what we can do about it. Now, as you guys did see recently, I did put the uh, Covina trailer. Now, the funny part is I wasn't expecting to have the Seaport map to come out this early. Uh, it was just right after I uploaded it. The next day, it's actually open Seaport. So, I was actually expecting to get a little bit some videos on Covina. But now, because uh, Seaport is out, I'm going to be playing on Seaport because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but if you guys can actually let me know in the comment sections uh, which one you guys want me to play on. I mean, I know I've heard a few people saying still play on Atlanta or uh, play on Covina. Are you going to be only playing on Covina? Well, it seems that now Seaport is out and I'm playing it right now. And I'm trying to find some loot, believe it or not. It's, it looks like it's just a lot harder to find some loot around here. Uh, I'm trying to be careful. So uh, let's go in here and see what's around here. Uh, but yeah, so because you guys have been asking, I want you guys to decide basically which one I should stay on and actually play for myself. Now, I cannot find any loot to protect ourselves from. This is kind of an interesting situation because in Atlanta, there's loots everywhere. So, uh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, I think I found some in the corner. Perfect, we did. Great. Hopefully, it's a weapon to protect ourselves. No, it's an empty water bottle. Oh, that's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Uh, these are the homes, the abandoned homes that we could go clear out. But we're going to go around here and hope for the best. All right, so we did get a water bottle. That's good. Um, I'm going to keep going around here, trying to go and see the little homes. I think these homes are going to be pretty safe. Uh, better than anything, to be honest, to keep some shelter around here. I've got some more water bottles. Should We should close all the doors so we can just stay safe. Um, hopefully we can find a weapon. We got to protect ourselves in some situation. Anything in here? There's some green loot. A red backpack. All right, we'll put that on. We'll keep our little backpack here. Make us look a little bit uh, more connected here to home, I guess. Uh, this is a pretty good area to get started, to be honest. I kind of like it here. Let's go and see what's over here. Uh, what is this? A fresh pear. All right, good. We're going to need some food, obviously. And I'm keeping looking around just to make sure everything's safe. Some diamond loot. Another backpack. We don't really need it, so I'm just going to toss it. But we are going to eat the fresh pear uh, because we are... Was that... Was that me that opened it? I don't know if there's an intruder in here. Hopefully there's not, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I thought I think it was just me. You know, it probably was just me because that happens. Okay, this goes in a circle. I was confused. Like, what the heck is going on? So, there was not too much loot going on in this place. That's going to give us some weapon to protect ourselves from. Um, so, we're going to keep searching this area. Now, these homes are really dangerous because the only thing I know about them is that a lot of people would probably go in here to keep shelter. Um, and I would find that kind of a, a big thing that you guys probably could agree. I don't want a rotten pear, even though I'm going to get hungry sooner or later. What's in here? A wet wire cutters. I don't think that's going to be a good defense, but it could help us. It could. Uh, ooh, a gl glass little ceiling area, roof, whatever. Ooh, military loot. Yes, we have a sledgehammer. Sweet. All right, so now we can actually defend ourselves from the danger. I'm going to throw away the empty water bottle, and I think we're pretty good on saturation and everything like that. Cool, so we do have a sledgehammer. which is going to give us some safety to fight off the zombies, and hopefully we don't have to fight off any people because you know that I don't like harming people. So this looks like it's the backyard. We're going to hop over the hedge. We're going to enter this place. Is there someone in there? 
Um, no, it's just a painting. I thought that was someone. All right, so we're going to enter in here slowly. Oops, I closed the door myself. And let's go in the basement. The basement looks like it's pretty cool. We got some red gear here. Yes, a makeshift splint. That's going to help us if we do break our legs. There's not many high buildings here except for, like, the skyscrapers, uh, um, which are pretty high, to be honest. I'm going to close this door. We're going to continue doing our looting source here. We're going to check out these rooms. Now, this is pretty cool because we're actually exploring the map at the same time. Now, if you guys have been watching SGC Barbarians videos, then you guys probably have a short idea or a good picture of what this uh, map is made up of. It's a big city. Basically, that's what it is. Ooh, we're going to check out this place. Uh, I feel like there's a zombie in here. We got to watch out. Uh, but it's basically, all it is, it's a big city, and it's basically a step up from Atlanta. Because Atlanta was a pretty big city itself, but oh, there is a walker. I knew it. There was an open door. All right, let's close this door. We never want to leave any doors open in The Walking Dead, guys. You guys will probably learn already and found out yourselves. So we're going to keep going around, checking it out as well. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just a big upgrade on what the Atlanta server was about. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, if you guys like the Atlanta server, then you guys are going to enjoy this for sure. I bet you guys. And I think a majority of you guys are going to say play on Seaport rather than Covina. Because Covina does have that... I guess woods appeal to it like Atlanta and some areas so it could be the same old same old but it has some cool builds I showed in the trailer so we could go check it out once in a while uh, but I really like Seaport a lot I mean look at these builds it's just a whole different setup it's pretty cool uh, do we have what are we on water okay we're doing pretty good uh, we have some ammo we did get some good things some morphine but I do want to get some food we're kind of not doing the best on food I just want to get something to keep us a little bit more in control of our situation here now I would want to go in these apartment buildings but let me tell you guys something there are tons of people in the apartment buildings and before I want to go in there I want to make sure that we have ourselves a good source of ammo, a good source of, uh, have we been in here? I don't want to go in there. I see, it feels like someone went in there. But we'll take some pigs, actually, um, for food, pork shop. Yeah, raw food, we'll take it. But as I was saying, you know, I'd rather get some ammo, some good armor, and go inside the apartment buildings. And you know what's cool, guys? What reminds me um, of this place is actually the last episode of The Walking Dead on AMC. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I am not going to ruin it for you guys, but if you guys have seen it, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about it. Um, so if you want to close your ears now, you can do it. Um, it's not really going to be a spoiler, but all I can tell you guys is uh, Daryl and uh, what's her name? Um, I'm skipping out her name. Daryl and what's that lady? No, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. Um, well, they're going to save, um, uh, what's her name? Beth. And uh, so the thing is, I don't really want to say too much, but they went in the city. They went back to a big city, which was kind of brought back from season one, and there were some cool flashbacks. And uh, this definitely reminds me of it. For some reason, it just feels like a big city now, industrial city, as you can see. So I think it's a really cool place, especially those apartment buildings where you guys, if you have seen the episode of The Walking Dead already, you guys know what's happening in there. You know, some cool action stuff that I don't want to break and give spoiler alerts here. But uh, it's freaking cool. Oh, it looks like barriers. That's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like this place has been barricaded. It looks like it's fairly uh, safe. So I'm curious, I'm just curious to find out more about it and what's happening around this, if there's a way in somehow, because this place looks like it would be a perfect place to get some loot, so we'll definitely go in there eventually. Uh, but yeah, this place, I love the design of this map, it's just freaking amazing, there's some woods, there's some huge industrial, this looks like a factory, I have to admit, this does look like a factory. Um, and I want to go inside, but it looks really barricaded. Is that his person over there? Yes, it is. All right Let's just stay safe and uh, just wander around and hope for like a little entrance I'm really curious to find out if there's a way in from here. Um, oh, nope. This has been barricaded uh, Let's go see if we can get from the back. I don't know if there's a way in Wow, it looks really barricaded to be honest I mean, I really want to get in there, but from how it looks I don't think we're gonna be getting in there anytime soon. Oh looks we look if we can get in here Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if we were here in the beginning. We may have been, but uh, there's some new loot here that we can grab. Some canned pasta. Uh, I'm looking around. I think I saw someone. Uh, did I see someone? I don't know. I want to be really safe around here. Uh, looking around, zooming in. I don't see anyone, but I do see some loot around the crates over here. Um, and I think there was a loot on top of here. Yep, military loot. Let's see we got a bandage. Of course we need a bandage, guys. That's going to be amazing for our uh, safety if we get attacked by a walker. We all know that happens a lot in The Walking Dead. And now this looks like it's a uh, type of shipyard uh, where you can like, put stuff in, I guess, to the big uh, trucks, 18-wheelers, simulators, whatever you want to call them. Oh, that was a little lag there. Uh, but let's go in here. Anything in here? It looks just like an abandoned room. Not much going on, to be honest. Hmm, that's a rooftop. You can't get anything in there. 
a little bit interested. This map is definitely going to be a fun time exploring all the episodes. And I think that by by how it looks right now, this is going to be an epic, like, Walking Dead return of new maps and everything that you guys have been asking for. When is Seaport coming out? Well, it's out. So if you guys want to hit that like button again, I keep mentioning it and stressing it out because I do want to see your support on this because this is freaking awesome. All right, there's a lot. Ooh, is there a bat? Okay. I want to be careful here because there's a lot of dangers. It looks like the more industrial side of things here in this area. Uh, so we're going to go over here. And I want to open my canned food here because I am getting hungry. And I don't want to end up being hungry and not have any canned food opened up for us. All right, good. So we're good on food right now, actually. I didn't know that. Uh, oh, yes, some more military loot. There's a lot. Of oh, a grenade. This will be a good source of uh, safety, I guess, for us. If we need to get ourselves out of a dangerous uh, situation with walkers. Ooh, there's more army loot here. Alright, we just need a weapon. I mean, like, a, a nice little gun. That would be a nice pistol or some sorts. Would give us a uh, good, I guess, a good shelter, a good idea of safety. Because we only have a sledgehammer, and I don't think that's going to take us too long. I feel like someone's watching me. I don't know why. It's just really open, this area. Uh, dirty rag, we'll use it. Oh, okay, that's a walker. I, th I was really scared. I thought that was a person with some ammo. Uh, baseball bat, not going to do us too much. Oh, there's a little bit more walkers around here. Ah, uh, you got fell in the bar by... You fell in the barbed wire. All right, what's going on around here? Oh, is that a person? That is a person. Uh, he doesn't seem dangerous at all because he looks like he just got on, so I'm not going to go attack him. Oh, there was a guy. I'm not going to go there. Nope, I'm not risking it. I thought I just saw a guy over there, and I don't want to risk it anymore. We're going to go up here, and hopefully we can settle out and find some more armor gear. Um, so maybe we could do that. Hopefully we find some type of armor gear here. Ooh, this looks pretty interesting. It's like a high view of the area that we were just down. Actually, no. It's a little bit more. There's some more areas up here that we can go check out. That's pretty cool. Any rooms in here that we can check? Oh, there are some walkers in there. I am not going to open that door. We would have died right there. That would have been really dangerous. Or at least lost a lot of blood. And we don't have any ammo or uh, suppressors to add to our so-called weapon that we don't really have yet. So that's kind of our mission. We need to find ourselves a weapon uh, either in this episode or the next episode. Obviously, I'm going to get my rank back veteran because I talked to Andrew earlier. He's a really awesome guy, and maybe, guys, if we can reach 100 likes on this video, I'll talk to Andrew and see if we can hook up uh, a giveaway for a rank on this server. So, actually, I will do that. I'll try my best to do that for you guys. So, if you guys are watching up to this point, make sure you guys down below in the uh, comment section, leave a comment saying uh, whatever you like about this episode, and if we can reach that 100 likes, guys, cool, man. That would be a big, 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 big achievement, and that would be when we get the giveaway. And the giveaway will consist of a rank. I will talk to Andrew and see if I can do that. And I'll keep you guys updated in the next episode of The Walking Dead. So I'm going to keep walking straight away and find some more weapons. It's really difficult to find some weapons around here. I've just been noticing. Oh, is that? I think that was a person. Yeah, that is a person. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, oh, that's a pretty dangerous. That looks like a factory right there. All right, this place looks really dangerous. It's more like a supermarket. I bet you there's a lot of food in there. Um, and I'm not really in to get the food right now i'd rather go around check my surroundings before i go and uh attack or, or just go inside i'm not seeing anything so i'd rather go inside and have an idea of what's near me do dash near actually i can't oh, i don't have access to that gotta get my veteran rank that's why i miss it and that's why i need it for the videos because it helps out a lot it makes it much more interesting i think uh so we're gonna go around here and we're probably gonna end up the episode we're gonna enter this supermarket we're going to hold ourselves a little bit of a base. Actually, no. We're going to go out of the supermarket. That's a little bit too dangerous. We're actually going to go in a little bit of an apartment building here. And we're going to hold ourselves a little secure base of some sorts. Um, oh, that lag drop. Oh, that's that's dropping. That's dropping. I don't know why. Uh, we're going to go around and hope there's a little house or something that can keep us safe from all the dangers around here. Um, so, I don't know. Let's see what is around here. Sometimes you can find loots. Oh, this is a big building right there. That's actually fairly big, actually. Uh, we'll probably go check it out in the next episode again. We are in a fairly safe area right now. I, I don't think a lot of people can get to us uh, where we are currently because it looks like it's barricaded with a fence over there. And well, the only way people can get here is if they spawn here or if they know exactly where I am. But this is a very big building. This looks pretty nice, and that's why it's called Seaport, I guess. You get it? Um, but... This is a building we definitely have to go check out. I think it's going to give us a lot of loots. I wonder if we could take these. Oh, we can't. Okay. Uh, but look, there's a few doors that are open, guys. So we're going to go inside here. We're going to keep shelter. All right. This is going to be our shelter area right now. We're going to make sure everything's closed. All the possible doors that are open, we close right now, right away. 
And, ooh, it looks like it's a secret tunnel that's been closed or barricaded off or some sorts of things here. So we're going to get our last bit of things, protein bar. Anything else here we can find? Probably that's been all of it. Yes, it is. But this is a perfect area to keep ourselves in control of our parameters and make sure we stay safe. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode of The Walking Dead on Seaport. I really wasn't expecting to upload a Seaport video um, until I got home, until I heard about it too. So I, I'm really excited. Honestly, I am excited because this map is freaking awesome. As of just now exploring the whole entire area, just made me really get a, a, just like an uplifting vibe about, about this place. I think it's going to be super cool. We're going to drink ourselves a little water. Alrighty, we're gonna get ourselves uh, some of the things organized. We're pretty much organized already. We just need some weapons. And remember, if you guys hit that like button, you guys are only gonna help your size got <laughs> words here. Uh, if you guys hit that like button, basically, you guys have a chance of creating this giveaway and making it happen for a giveaway of a rank on the Walking Dead Seaport map, guys. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys are watching up to this point. My name is Alexton. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Walking Dead on Seaport. Stay foxy, guys, and make sure you guys leave some comments. I love reading them. I'll reply to most of them. Actually, I'll reply to all of them if I can. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Alexon. Hope you guys have a good day and share this video around. I'll see you guys on Twitter as well if you guys want to message me about the episode. If you have any future questions, let me know, guys. Peace out. Stay foxy, and see you guys later.